afternoon rendition, Wednesday afternoon, Choir Boys Cutlery. They say, yeah, man, you're making all these videos. I told y'all about that. I told you. Well, that'd be like 700 something knives. I got that on the hip, son. If I need to buy more knives, making makes all kind of money. Bunches of it. That's why we together. And she said, you know, I said yes. Whatever. Again, luckily, Megatron does not watch these videos, or I'd probably be, you know, whatever. So, what we have for you today. Now, I'm on, I've reviewed the CQC 8, Close Quarter Combat 8 from Ernie Emerson, told him me and Ernie tight, good dude, love him, God bless him. Y'all know when I say that stuff, We, I really don't know him. I, I know Ernest Emerson and he doesn't know you at all. I really do. I mean, four, like four people watch these things. I'm sure he ain't one of them. But anyway, we reviewed the CQC, the eight. Just as a reminder, let me move my Russia which I keep right beside me in the seat in case somebody wants to kick off on something. Now, look at him. This is the CQC-8. We've already gone over it. Lord knows y'all don't want to go back over it. But I do want to go over something when you own it. See this handle here? I just want y'all to know this is one of the bigger ones he makes. Got that good choil right there. Wave technology, all that. Look at there, look how that fits in the hand. Now, the mall of my hand, this part of my hand, from here to here, it's pretty big, okay? Fingers are like little snossages, but you know. But I can get good control with this knife. It's not going to slide up. The good jimping. I do like that guard. I do like the wave technology. I do like all that. That's one of my favorite parts. Um, that being said, I really shouldn't have popped it that hard. These are hard to use knives, so sometimes they get a little sticky. All right. Good size handle length there. That's about a four and a half, almost a five inch handle from count to count. So good grip on it, man. I like that. The point today, what I want to do for you today, I got this new Hardcore Cycles hat. My boy Hill over at Hardcore Cycles, he owns it, Hillbilly. I know y'all know Hillbilly. If you ride a motorcycle, take it there and see him. He, he gets so excited when he gets new customers, he just, you know, his big six foot eight ass just jumps up and down all giddy. So go over here and see Hillbilly. Jones Cab sent you. Uh, you'll probably get charged double, but whatever. All right, got a little glare going. Now, I told y'all, safety is key with me, plus I look pretty damn good in these sunglasses. That's two cuss words. That's gonna be it for this one. I promise. And I think I've done pretty good on it, if you want to know the truth. But anyway, what we're gonna do today is the Emerson Sachs, not sex, Sax, S-E-A-X. He's like, oh, it's cab, it's S-A-X. No, it's not. It's like a Viking Sax. And here it is. Bask in the sweetness thereof. Now, now, again, look at that handle. Look at that handle. Okay. Now, let's focus on the blade. It's almost a four four inch blade, like 3.9 or something like that on the blade. Ernie really don't do, I mean, there is a knife he's got that's like 4.2. I knew as soon as I said, who didn't make a, a, a say anything over four, there'd be one. 4.2. Thank you, Ernie. Appreciate it. But this is the sax. Now, got a worn cliff or a sheep's foot blade. Y'all see that? Pointy, pointy, pointy. Really good for stabbing somebody. I mean, if you're in that kind of thing, I don't know. I, you know, sometimes that's just kind of your thing. I, whatever. The other thing with this knife is, while it's got pretty pointy, now this this one, Kurt Weiss, uh, let me hold it. But the thing about this one is, because I'm I'm probably gonna buy this knife next week. Um, it's just too sweet not to have. And it's a good self-defense type tool. These things, I'm just telling you. Now, you're either an Emerson fan or you're not. And let me just say this. Because y'all know I wasn't going to stay on point the whole video. I'm trying to see what kind of time we got. Trying to keep these things under a certain amount of time. It helped if I knew where my time was. I hope this thing's recording, son. Anyway, don't matter. Ah, Lord have mercy. All right. Now, let me say this. 
I don't even, I have no idea what I'm going to say. Warren Cliff blade. It's good for stabbing. The other thing these blades are really good for, they're sharp, son. All of Emerson's grinds are chisel grind. You say, well, I got one that's a saber. Yeah, you might. it might be a saber to a point, but right there at that edge, it's going to be a chisel grind. I myself, I, I didn't know what I'd think of it. I love the chisel grind. I love it. I watched a couple videos on, uh, you know, uh, Ernie sharpening them up. Now, let me say this. If you buy an Emerson, it's going to be anywhere from about 180 to around $260, $270. Now what, what he does is he guarantees them blades for life as long as you have some common sense with the blade. You know, if you break the tip on this thing, normal everyday use, he'll put your new tip on it, he resharpens them. All he asks is you put enough in there to ship it back to you. All these things are hand ground, I believe, or, or a lot of the original ones, all the original ones were, I'm not going to sit here and tell you these are. These may be hand finished, but that chisel grind, you either like it or you don't. And I, t I told you this, I told y'all this, this was my original point. A lot of people either like Ernie or they don't. They like the knife or they don't. And I'm gonna tell you something, that's fine with me. Because I challenge you, I challenge you to find one person on this earth that you can go, hey, do you like Scam? And they'll be like, eh, he's all right. No, sir. They either love me or they hate me. And I wouldn't have it any other way. Because if they're just like, eh, about you, that means you're kind of an eh person. And I'm a lot of things, but I ain't that. Moving on. Now, I see somebody messaging me there. And I, I, I enjoy that so much during, during uh, choir boy cutlery time. Anyway, the sax. Uh, CPM 154, that's that stainless. Got a lot of knives in that. Um, I really like it. It's super pointy, um, super strong. And you'll notice this tapered edge here. I mean, that's not a tapered edge, but it tapers down and you don't have like a sharp, you know, uh, a sharp spear point or it tapers down. It gives it a good bit of strength. And up here, I don't know if you can see it, kind of see that taper on the blade. Now, one thing I'm going to do probably in the next day or so is have a cutoff between the CQC, the Sax, and this other little Emerson right here. You know, my other little Emerson, first Emerson I bought, the CQC7. Uh, this is kind of more of a gentleman's knife. Now this one did not come with the wave technology. You know, I didn't redo the tip or anything like that. This is just a standard chisel grind, three inch blade. But again, notate the handle. The handle, Ernie has hit a home run with these handles, son. They, I mean, they're just comfortable. Now, this is the knife I about cut my fingers off with. And that's true. I was working over there in Murray Hill and there was a little AT&T pedestal. So I got, the, I got the top off it and I'm down. And I was actually just kind of shaving the wire back so I could hook up to it, throw a signal down it, and run on, right? So I got my truck protecting me. Now, I'm in these people's yard, or in the right-of-way. And let me say this. In Florida especially, there is a right-of-way in your yard. I hate to break the news to you. You don't own from that sidewalk to your yard. You don't own from behind that sidewalk to your yard. That's a right-of-way. You want nothing in it. So when you come out there raising hell, you're going to go right back in there where your little feelers hurt. You understand? So I was on, I was right behind that sidewalk, son. Had my truck block me. I'm shaving a little thing, minding my own business, having a good day. I learned down there at JC to do what I told him for the 7,000th time. Send it up, started sending it sign language. I'm holding a knife thusly. Notate the thusly, kind of like this, and I'm just kind of scraping it back, you know. I look back, and here comes some jack leg around my truck in a car blowing the horn. So I jump up, when I jumped up, I shoved this knife forward. Knife went forward, hit the pedestal, let go, and went zip zip. And I'm talking about cut the fire out of them, son. 
I should save him cuss words to demonstrate that, but I ain't going to. Now, that's not Ernie's fault. This knife has, has the same jimping. These G10 scales, man, I love them. All three of these knives. All three of these knives, let me put them up, because it's gonna drive with all the blades up. All three of these knives right here. Hyung, Hyung, and Hyung are some of the best handles I got. When you first get them, that G10's kind of like, ooh, Lord, it's gonna mess up my pants. Especially if you're wearing some short pants, son. It'll mess them all up. But I said all that to say, uh, sometime probably in the next day or so, it's starting to rain now. We're getting close to Green Cove. I'm gonna do a cutting test with all three so y'all can see all three. I love you. God bless you. Listen. Y'all know what we say about it. We're getting rid of addiction. We're going to help everybody we can. We're going to be buddies with everybody we can. We're going to be friends with everybody we can. And uh, those we're not friends with, we're going to beat them through the asphalt. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And pass the ammunition. That's just the way it's going to be. Now, all these people don't want to hold people down and, and want to make excuses and want to... Um, what do they call that? Enable? If you're an enabler, you're probably going to get a foot in your ass. Sorry. Well, you know what? That, that one should count. You're going to get a foot somewhere where it doesn't feel good for enabling somebody to do drugs. That's just the way it's going to work. Okay? So we got that. The next thing is this. Okay? Next thing is this. 22 veterans a day. Son, I can't say it. I'll say it till I'm dead. It's got. If it don't make you mad, son... You need to check your life, okay? I mean, you just do, bud. I, I don't know what else to tell you. But I'm going to tell you this. I'm scabbed. You're not. Hardcore cycles, if you drive a motorcycle, I would, but I got them little legs. They wouldn't touch the ground when I stopped. I'd probably kill myself. Hardcore cycles, go see HB. Go check out Backyard Samurai. Go check out my man Carl Ruger. Carl Ruger. He said Rude Jerk, take off the K, but it's Carl Ruger. Uh, Vance Knife Bro, Prepared Minds 101. Uh, Mayor uh, Fugly Cool, that dude will tear some stuff up. Uh, Cedric and Ava. I might have just made them up, I don't know. But go check all them things out. See what you think. Love y'all. Here we go.